Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the basic SQL Server select statement. Today session we will discuss how you can retrieve the information or the record from the tables using select statement in the different different way. And total uh, today's totally se uh, session based on the select statement how you can retrieve the information in the different manners so now let's uh, we will start today's session so this is our table for example the customer table contain the customer data such as customer identification number first name last name phone email and address information as shown below you know the SQL server use the schema to logically groups tables and the other database objects in our sample database we have two schemas cells and the production the sales schema groups all the sales related tables while the production schema group all the production related tables so we will retrieve the information from this table using the select statement so this is our demo table and we will discuss all these things on the basis of this table let me repeat the fields of this tables are customer id first name last name phone email street city state and zip code these information has been maintained on this table now we will move to the next thing see here the sql server select statement we can retrieve some columns of a table for example see here the following query find the first name and the last name of the customer means if you want to retrieve the information regarding first name and the last name of the customer so how we can write the query see here the select command then first name comma last name from keyword sales dot customer this is the query you can write when you will execute this query you will retrieve the information see here first name and the last name of all the customer so you like this you can mention more fields as per your requirement see the another example the following statement returns the first name last name and the email of all customer select command first name comma last name comma email from keyword sales dot customer while you are executing this query you will retrieve all the first name last name and email of customers so the thing is that if you want to retrieve some specific fields or some fields from your any tables then you can write like this you have to mention all the fields name and separated by the comma I hope it's clear. Now we'll move to the next thing. High school server select a statement. Retrieve all the columns from a table. Example. Suppose if you want to retrieve all the information, means you have to view or display all the fields from your table. So you can use the you can write the query like that select a star from this is the keyword and the sales dot customer 
so star basically represent all the fields whatever you have created in that table after executing this query it will display the complete information complete details of uh, the complete records from your table all the fields it has it will be displayed so the thing is that if you want to retrieve some specific fields then you have to mention the fields name and separate it by these fields by comma and if you want to view all the fields from your table then you can use simply asterisk symbol so this is the two way you can retrieve information from your table i hope it's a clear to all of you now we will move to the next slide SQL Server select statement retrieve the specific record set means you want to view some specific records of select a star from sales dot customers where state equal to C so if you want to retrieve all the fields but you have to display some specific records so you can specify the condition or we can say the criteria using where close here we have to specify the condition like state equal to c so it will display only those records whose state is c it's clear to all of you now we will move to the next thing sql server select a statement now retrieve some columns of a table in sorted order means to sort the result set based on one or more columns you can use the order by clause i show in the following example see here select a star from sales dot customer where state equal to ca and order by first name so it will display all the records was state as ca and ordered by first name see here customer id is known in the sequence because we have to sort all the records by first name so see in the first name column all the names customer names are in the ascending order and accordingly all the records has been displayed i hope it's clear to all of you now we will move to the next thing sort a result set by one column in ascending order here we have to retrieve only two fields select first name comma last name from sales dot customer and ordered by first name see here all the first name and the last name two fields has been displayed and all the names has been in ascending order or you can say then sorted order first a a a a like that a b accordingly in this example because we didn't specify the asc or desc asc for ascending order or desc for descending order the order by clause used asc by default means if you don't specify 
the ASC or DSC, DESC, then it will use ASC by default. Means all the record will be displayed in ascending order. Now we will move to the next thing. Sort a result by one column in descending order. The following statement statement sorts the customer list by the first name in descending order. Means if you want to display the information in the descending order so how you can write the query see here select first name comma last name from sales dot customer order by first name the ESC the ESC for descending order see the result all the information has been displayed first name last name according to the first name that is in descending order first it will show the jad all the names which is starting with the red i hope it's clear to all of you now we will move to the next slide Sort a result set by the multiple columns if you want to display the information on the basis of ascending or descending on multiple columns. So, see here the following statement retrieves the first name, last name, and the city of the customer. It saw the customer list by the city first and then by the first name means you have to apply the sorting on multiple fields or the multiple columns so how you can write the query see here select city comma first name comma last name from sales dot customer order by city comma first name it means first it will short by the city name then first name see the output city first name last name first it will show according to city then it will show according to the first name i hope it's clear to everyone Now move to the next thing. Sort a result set by the multiple columns and the different order. Means the following statement sort the customer by the city in the descending order and the sort the sorted result set by the first name in ascending order. Means you have to apply ascending and descending both the things to display the record so how you can use this thing see here the query select city comma first name last name from sales dot customer order by city desc descending order first name asc ascending order see the output first it will sort according to the city that is in descending order then first name that will be an ascending order so this is the way you can also apply the ascending and descending both the things in a single query for different fields
now we will move to the next thing sort a result set by a column that is not in the selected list means if you want to display the records according the ascending and descending order and that field will not be included in the displaying information so how you can write the query it is possible to sort the result set by a column that doesn't appear on the select list for example the following statement sort the customer by the state even though the state column doesn't appear on the select list see the query select city comma first name comma last name form sales dot customer order by state see the output only the city first name and last name has been displayed but we have to display then these information according to the state oh. one important point not that the state column is defined in the customer table if it was not then you would have an invalid query means if we have to sort the record on a specific field name that field has not been adjusted in the table in that case it will show the invalid query i hope it is clear to everyone it is not mandatory you can sort the records on the basis of the field which you want to display you can also sort the record that field is not included to display the records to retrieve the information from the table okay now let's we move to the next thing sort a result set by an expressions the len function returns the number of characters of a string the following statement use the len function in order by clause to retrieve a customer list sorted by the length of the first name means according to the length of that particular field how you can write this query see here select command first name comma last name from sales dot customer order by len function on first name desc in descending order see the first name and the last name result output the length of the field name and the sending order it is clear to everyone now we will proceed to the next thing sql server select the statement groups rows into the groups example to group row into a groups you can use the group by clause for example the following statement return all the city of customer 
located in California and the number of customers in each city. So how you can write this query? See here, select city and the count function, count asterisk, we have to count all the cities from sales dot customer where state equal to CA group by city and order by also city. See here city and the number of column and name means according to the city the number of customer city name and corresponding number of customer located it is clear to everyone now we will move to the next thing <coughs> SQL server select filter groups example see here to filter group based on one or more conditions you can use the having close the following example return a city on the California which has more than 10 customers means it will display only those record and which the number of customer more than 10 select city count as count asterisk from sales dot customer where state equal to CA group by city having count the state greater than 10 order by city and see the result city and the number of columns in the corresponding cities the number of customers like that more than 10 so it means if you want to apply a certain condition or the criteria on a group then you can use the having clause so we can understand so the difference between the where and the having basically if you want to apply the certain condition on a specific record then you can use the simply where but if you want to apply a condition on a specific other groups in that case you can use the having close I hope it's clear to everyone proceed to the next thank you this is for today's sessions we have to discuss about the select command and have to retrieve the information in the different different ways using certain conditions how you can display the records or the information in the sorted order in ascending order or descending order how we can apply the sending and descending on a specific fields or the multiple fields how you can apply the sorting on an a specific field that you have to count like that and uh, at last we have also discussed the having along with the where in that case you can apply a specify the condition on a specific group so this is all about for today's session thank you have a nice day all of you I hope all these concepts you have to understand. Thanks. Thank you all of you.